We are extremely excited to host this tournament. It demonstrates the significant growth of wheelchair basketball in Canada and around the world and will leave a lasting legacy for female athletes and the sport. Here at the Madame Athletic Centre, Team Canada unveiled their 2014 roster for the Women's World Wheelchair Basketball Championship Tournament. Several speakers spoke at the press conference welcoming the team to their home venue as Toronto hosts the tournament in June. Number nine, Mo the child. The team took to the court for an open practice as they prepare for an exhibition tournament held at the MAC. This event will be the largest world championship in women's wheelchair basketball history as 12 teams compete for gold. The Canadians are looking forward to playing on home soil. I'm excited for my mom to come and watch. She doesn't always come and watch, so I'm excited. My dad comes out, my grandma, my grandpa. So it's, it's pretty exciting for them. They know how much it means to me to play this sport. So them coming out to support me is amazing. Family is also important for Bill Johnson. If not for his brother, he may have never been introduced to the sport he now coaches. Uh, I actually grew up with a brother with a disability and he started playing wheelchair basketball and we had played everything together. He, he acquired his disability age of eight, so I was nine at the time and uh, we didn't know what to do with ourselves for about a year and then he discovered wheelchair basketball, which is completely integrated in Canada and allows able-bodied participation, so I started playing with him. He was a lot better than me. He went on to uh, university in the U.S. on a partial scholarship to play wheelchair basketball. He eventually made our men's national team and competed uh, as recently as London where he won a gold medal with the men's national team and he's just retired. And uh, after he was gone, I just started getting involved in different areas and. Uh, I started coaching and here I am. At their last major event, the 2012 Paralympics, the team failed to medal. This year, they are looking to make up for it at the World Championship. I don't think that there's any team that's better than us. I think there's teams that have better days than other teams, but you know, we'll learn, we learned from London and that's not going to happen again and we're just going to move on and we're going to play well at Worlds. For Ryersonian TV, I'm Erica Ublack.